Hi. So it's a little cooler today, so it's a good time to do some gardening, especially if the uh, clouds can fly and come back. <laughs> but uh, I need to pull up the garlic because it's about time to pull the garlic. And I'll do some weeding and I think I'll probably put the last two sweet potato sprouts. I'll put the last two sweet potato slips in as well because they're looking like they need it. They're a little leggy and we've got some shade. Here we have a clump of garlic that just planted itself. These are volunteers from last year that made a big clump in the garden. And as you can see, they are none too big, um, but they needed to come up so that we could put other stuff in. This is a hard neck variety of garlic and the bulbs are smaller than normal garlic bulbs. Um, anywhere that we had some wild garlic planting, they were tiny. Um, and the ones that we planted mostly ended up about this size. So, smells like garlic and dirt, but mostly like garlic because it's kind of a strong smell. We're going to tie these up and I think we're going to hang them in the basement because it's really humid out. We got a good bit of garlic, not as much as last year, but we also didn't plant as much as last year. And, uh... That's what we got, about half of which we will separate into the cloves and plant this fall for next year's crop. Maybe more than half, considering we didn't really plant a whole lot for this year. I'm going to end up putting the baby garlic, the gift garlic. It's gift garlic because we did not really plant it, it planted itself. I'm going to put the gift garlic and some of the um, stunted garlics into the kitchen to dry and the rest of it downstairs. We only put about we only put about 60 cloves in the ground this year because last year we got through about 60 before they started going bad and we had to hurry through the rest. Uh, we might do the same or more for next year, depending. I am going to look into more ways to preserve garlic so that we can have a hundred cloves of garlic in the ground to have lots for preserving so that we can actually make it through the early parts of summer. I guess early and midsummer before we uh, have our next crop of garlic. And last year I had gone and pulled most of the bulbs off the larger heads of garlic and the ones that were a little bit more red. And those are the ones that I planted in the ground. I'm not sure that really had a whole lot of effect because obviously we got some stunted ones that were small. Um, some of those smaller ones, they actually shot up scapes last week which was a little crazy because they were ready to be harvested. They had the wilted leaves and everything, but they had sent up scapes last week. So we got some fresh scapes for eating while this garlic dries. So I had to take a break because it did get sunny again and rather hot. But now the sun's going down behind the hill and I have my potato slips. There are actually three. There's a big one, a much smaller one, and then a teeny, teeny, tiny one at my thumb. One of them was a surprise. I thought there were only two and I looked and there were three. And here, I pulled up one of those bolted kales that I thought were beets when I planted them. And as you can see, it's all big and long. There are no seed pods on it, but there is 
very beet-like looking root to it. So while I didn't get any beets out of my beets, because they all bolted, how's that for alliteration? Um, I at least got to confirm that I did plant beets, <laughs> which is kind of nice to know. I also pulled up a couple of the carrots that were volunteers from last year and they're not looking too good either. These don't look like happy carrots. They had lots of greens, lots of big happy greens, but tiny, tiny little carrots. And lastly, here is a red spotted purple butterfly. It is a mimetic butterfly mimicking basically the um, pipe vine swallowtail, which is poisonous. This one's not poisonous. It just kind of looks like the one that's poisonous. 